Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. Can we meet the challenge? We're, we're giving it a good crack. Anyway, we are going to be picking up exactly where we left off in the Pacific P16. And we're not quite... Ooh. I have to remember, we uh, have to reattach. There we go. We're not quite ready to deliver this cargo for the, I believe it's not drill, I believe it's called. No, this isn't the not drill, this is pipe dream. We've just taken it a little bit closer because I want to use the fuel uh, to recover, or to help recover the uh, Chevrolet Kodiak. That's why we're pulling the, uh, the parts trailer as well. Having that extra truck is going to help. I'm not sure whether I want to use the Kodiak or the the International that's uh, stranded out on the dam for a fuel trailer. Set it up so it's just pulling pulling fuel about for us. It's easier to have it situated where I want it then. If we have like one 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 uh, one truck. It's got a, a fuel uh, tank on the back and maybe pull in a fuel tank rather than having lots of little ones everywhere. Don't know whether that's going to be better for me. We'll find out. Try to get as wide a berth as possible. That's going to get stuck. Always a risk. Be a bit trailer management today. I was hoping to bring them both together to to make life easier. May have to just do one at a time. It's going to be a nuisance. Well, that is right swung wide. That was never going to come with me, was it? Smashing everything. I'm gonna get myself stuck. It's not really a very wide bridge to be uh, doing this on. It's gonna drift back over there again, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's adamant that it's gonna go down that side of the bridge. What a bugger! There we go. Thank you. I've got to try and get me through now. Oh dear. We got through, so we know we can get back. There we are. Ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. Hopefully there's not a sign of bus to come for this uh, <laughs> this day. Oh good lordy, come on. Yeah. 
time, tuck it right in, right in behind this time. So we're heading over towards the, the logging camp, that's where we're going. There's a little, uh, sort of, off to the side of the road, sort of parking bit. So, <laughs> I guess this is where I'm going to look to park the trailer. Just kind of out of the way. And then we're going to take the repair trailer down as we go and get the Kodiak. Try and repair it as best we can. There's only two wheels left, I think, in that trailer, but it might make it a little bit easier to bring back. It, it may it may be a case if we we pay for it just a full repair once we get it back as well. It depends on the the rest of the condition, the, uh, the CK. marked up for a different job. We're not doing a job at the minute. We've got the markers up. I think that's for missing machinery, I believe. Which we won't be doing for a little while. That is my least favourite job, other than um, logging and art. <laughs> any sort of logs about. Pick up those four bits of missing machinery. That's my least favourite. So you, sir, stay there now. This can go here. And that'll probably stay here until we've done a few more of the, the easier jobs that come this way. And there is another little scouting job out here as well, so we'll get that done as well. We fill ourselves. Just going to back up to the trailer, then that'll be easier. It's not like we're in a speedy truck anyway. Now I think after we've done this, we might... There's a trailer we need to go and rescue here in Black River, and there's also another fuel tank. So we might go and grab them, and then get to work on recovering the other two trucks that we get to keep. Just so we've got a, little, got a few more vehicles to help, help us work with and get about. I think we should be fine pulling the Kodiak to here, I believe. It looks so tiny in comparison to the uh, P-16. 
P16 is a beast. How long is our? It's not that long. There we go. Let's pull it out. I'm just going to get rid of that job, that does my... <laughs> does annoy me. Excuse me. And if you're playing more on a regular mode, uh, normal a normal gameplay. This is one of the easiest trucks to get the achievement for driving with all broken wheels on or dragging a damaged truck from one map to another and putting it in your garage. But we're not worried about that on hard mode. That very well. So, who wants air? Uh, so we can do two of the wheels, we can fix the gas tank, engine, suspension and gearbox. We've still got 300 repair points left, it's a shame about the wheels. Do we need any repairs on ourselves? No, we're in good nick. Okay. I'm just going to push this out of the way here. Probably going to stay here for a little bit. This might get scooped up after we've done some some logging, or if we have to, when we come this way to collect the missing machinery, this might get scooped up and taken somewhere else. But for now, it can stay there. my friends. Put a little bit of fuel in it. I'll bring it along. Yeah, because what I'm not sure about, because I've never done it, is whether if we put this in to repair, will it cost us a flat amount anyway to straight up repair it, or will it be reduced in... Um, a, a, I think because it's a full repair, we might have just wasted some of those parts. I'm not sure. But this is where I'll find out. fixed the uh, fuel tank so we will fill her up
and I'm sure if you wish and you're you're happy to spend the money you could just straight recover that to the garage as well save a lot of this but I know that in regular play mode I uh, <laughs> but flip it with my cash and I, I overspend and I can't imagine I'm going to have great deal of control over it in hard mode so we'll not try not to waste money with um, recoveries and I think because I'm not the greatest logistically with managing where my fuel is we may end up having to purchase fuel at some point so I said before I think there's enough fuel out on the map to not really have to worry too much about it some people over manage their fuel I think I'm probably going to under manage my fuel so you want to be somewhere in between probably go a little bit quicker if the, the Kodiak wasn't going backwards but it was just easier than trying to turn the whole truck around there's no mad rush as long as we get there safely that's sort of the goal <laughs> complete the tasks and do it without too much damage or loss there is no race the only, the only jobs we worry about the time with are the ones that have a timer on. Speaking of which, I think we're level 7 now, so we should be able to get some better tyres for our Fleet Star. And for when we get it, the White Western. So then we'll be able to start to try and do some of those times, deliveries and stuff, earn a bit of money. I think we can do them three times and we may we may use our maximum runs as well on those jobs just so we've got the cash we're allowed to so we will I don't generally farm them on uh, on a regular mode I think most of them I just do the once to have them done if there's something I want to buy and I've not got enough money for it, I sometimes do some extra food deliveries from the farm. Just because that's basically a quick and easy one. The others just tend to get done once. But since we're going to need some cash monies, we'll uh, probably do all, do all of them three times where possible. in a wide swing. And as for like spending money on tyres and stuff, I noticed the other day I was watching someone and they they bought one set of tyres and would change the tyres out on their trucks like about one set so if they have uh, a couple of trucks that all have the same size 
say like, I don't know, 47, 41 inch or, or whatever tyres and they had that, they just had one set of like chains and one set of mud and one set of off-road and then they just sort of switch them out between the trucks. To me that sounds like a, a lot of extra work, whereas I, I'm more of a, like, let's just spend six grand on each truck so each truck has the chain tyres. So we'll see, we'll, see, we'll see which way is better, won't we? Probably the more conservative way, better financially, but for time. Like having to keep bringing your trucks back to change tyres, I don't know how often they end up doing it, but... There we are. Turns. <laughs> right, let's switch over. And we shall get that in here. So, how much is a repair? It's still the same, two and a half grand for a full repair. So, I would have been better off. Because I only want two wheels. That's annoying. That is annoying. But I just want two wheels. Hmm. It will just take too long to bring the scout over here just to put two wheels on from the scout, I think. We'll, we'll pay the money. We're paying two and a half grand for, for two wheels, pretty much. That's mental. So, if you've not done this, if you're following along and, and doing, don't repair the truck. Just drag it back. Save the repair parts for something else. There we go. Right, we will customise. So, we'll see what we've got engine-wise. stick with that. The raised suspension is always handy, I think. And I don't want highway tyres on. I would rather have all terrains. Yeah. We'll sell the highways. Diff, spare wheel, a snorkel. Probably not for now. Engageable all-wheel drive. That's in Alaska. Wow. So I'm, I think, oh, I think for now I'm going to use this, if, if it has one, to carry some fuel about in. 1,800 litres. Oh, we might go for a bigger one. 2,000. Makes sense, doesn't it? So we'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay. And then, have we already, because it's over a period of time and I forget, we do have a trailer, I think, waiting. With fuel. Or have we not done it yet? Is it still here? Did we deliver? Just have to check. Steel River Supplies. It's not showing up as there, so I've obviously picked it up somewhere. I forgot where I've put it. Oh, it's there. There it is. Okay. So, we can go and empty some fuel out of that and get that delivered, and that'll be a job done. One more ticked off. And then if we wish, I can then keep this on here, 
and grab fuel out of that large fuel trailer because we're not going to do that for a little minute and take our other fuel tanker that we have here I can take that through into the dam when we go through that makes a little bit of sense to me anyway because the dam is where we need sort of the most fuel next time the Kodiak makes it into a garage we might paint it and do some other things but I just want to get out and get some things going I don't know, and I'm looking forward to finding out that as well, if we have fuel in this tanker, but when we come to the end of the map, we've completed everything, we've got fuel in this tanker, we may have the the uh, the international when it's up and running, have that running with fuel as well. If we have those loaded up with fuel in their tanks, and we retain them in our garage, if we pull them out on another map, do they still have the fuel in that trailer? Perhaps I should do some research on that. Find out. Because if it does, and that and that works, then we'll definitely turn the two road trucks into just fuel fuel trucks. Spend the money on another trailer and send it through. Because I've never even attempted Alaska on hard mode at all. Only Michigan, and to be fair, I don't normally get as far as I've gone. <laughs> now when we empty this tank, we need to put 200 back in as well. Empty the whole tank and then I'll just put 200 back. I think that'll probably be the easiest bet. We've got a lot of fuel here on a map that we're not really on. Now, did I? I didn't activate the uh, the job. So if we refuel I take oh I took it out of me that was silly wasn't it <laughs> there we go it's not a great deal and then in the fuel carrier from my tank why won't it let me just take a little bit? Oh, we'll do it like that. That'll, that'll have to do. It sort of split half. Didn't want half, but that'll be alright. Means I'll be able to go and grab plenty from the... Uh, that large trailer I'm putting here as well. Oh, there's the, the small trailer that we might go and get in a bit. We might um, empty some out of that. So there's two, just under three grand for that. Completed that contract. So we're now going to head back up near the fuel, the other fuel station 
we'll make our way back up there, we'll park there, and then we'll use the P-16 to go and recover a fuel tank that wants to return in to the gas station. And I'll sneak some fuel out of that and pop in here as well. And then if there's room still in here, we'll go and grab some fuel out of the big trailer. And then we can have this as our mobile fuel tank roaming around on here. Some might think that this is uh, a lot of work for fuel or what have you, but for me, I think this is a better option than dragging lots of little trailers about. Once you've got everything here, you can put it where you want. Because I won't tend to have a lot of different jobs on the go at once. I prefer to try and concentrate on one, maybe two jobs, and get them done, so then I know where I need my fuel. Whereas if I have a lot of jobs on the go, I'm going to need to have fuel in different places. And me and my old man brain is very forgetful. We'll uh, struggle with uh, keeping hold of all that logistics of where we want and do what. I'm quite happy to run a truck until it's nearly dry, or even until it's dry, and then just go and refuel it. I think as long as we can keep moving through the jobs, completing contracts, completing tasks, you know, we're, we're heading in the right direction. Actually, speaking of heading in the right direction, the trailer we want is up there. So the better route might have been that way, but we can go up here and then through there. So I think travelling on the tarmac might be easier for us. something that I'm considering as well for this series, just to make it a little bit different from others, is introducing some more mod vehicles. So 
I mean, we need the money to buy them, so there's that. But if we have a truck, say like the P60, very limited in what you can change and upgrade and do with it, there is a mod version of the P60 that has a few options. Not a lot, but a few options. If we were to sell our P60, I mean, we'd only get half the money for it, so we'd need a lot of money to do this. And then be able to purchase the P16 mod version. Whether we do that. Drop us some feedback down below whether we think that's a, a good thing, a doable thing. Just to, to mix it up and change it up a little bit so it's not like we've got the same vehicles all the time as every other hard mode series. Try and make it our own a little bit. Because it is difficult to do, although you know we all all people that uh, play hard mode, especially those that record it, all probably do it in a different fashion. Do the jobs in a different route and manage things in a different way. But ultimately, because of the limitations through finances and having to find your vehicles, all have the same fleet. So if we had a same fleet but with some different capabilities, that might be worth doing, it might be interesting, worth exploring. And we'd only be able to do it with a couple of trucks because of the expense. Because the, the mod version of the truck is normally the same price as the base game truck. And if we sell our base game truck, we're going to get 50% of its value. Probably less if it's absolutely knackered. Roll down and just keep pushing. Again, I've never attempted this with P16, so I don't know if this is going to get stuck. It may well. Let's hope not. See if we can winch on. There we go. I remember the first time playing the game and doing this this particular rescue. I think I got two or three vehicles stuck down here trying to do it. But I had a very underpowered fleet star and a GMC. <laughs> and they got stuck down here. Very thick, very muddy. And possibly you've got a scout down here as well.
Oh, I have a bit more. Thank you very much. Very kind. Now, we, at some point, we may need to detach and just tow it on the winch. Sometimes that's easier. Hope I can get through these trees. down to the standard P16 tactic of foot down and just keep moving. Okay. You don't want to go that way, do I? I want. Yeah, I do. I want that one. And then we'll go back where we came. That's exactly where I want to go. Go on, big yellow. So how do people feel about high range gearboxes? I never really use them. I was watching um, a chap, Cyrus, and he was talking about gearboxes and like the benefits of high range. Should I invest in some high range gearboxes along the line? It sounds like if we get to a map where there's more open road, then that sounds viable. I don't think here in Michigan is, or in Alaska is going to be viable, but... Because I, I said uh, a few episodes ago, probably get confused because I see other, when I watch some other people play and then they stick it in high and then they, they're off and they're good. Whereas I slow right down, but that's because I've not got a, a high range or a fine tuned gearbox or something like that. I've always just opted for off roads and snow running gearboxes just to make sure I can manage my trucks through all the, all the tough things. But it would seem that on some trucks, if you stick it in high, as long as you've got the momentum, you can keep going. You can still get through a lot of the harsh terrain. Not the worst terrain, but some of the harsh terrain. So again, shall fuel panels come from there, and we'll put it in the Chevy, and then we'll put it in Chevy fuel tank. Top me up, and I think that'll be all right. This 300 in there. Could we eke out another small amount? Probably. Let's not worry about it. But 
there we go, another job done. Missing oil tank. Uh, that's another two and a half grand in the bank. And 280 XP. So where are we on our... We are now level 8. We were level 8 after the last job. Not bad. Getting things done. So next up we have... A... Stuck trailer. So shall we... Head off and go and get that. I think with the Pacific we can get through this way. Should be able to get here and up and round. Never, I've never taken that route, so shall we do it? Very rarely ever come down this bit. Will the Pacific do it, or will we be safer sticking to the road? Give it a crack. The worst that's going to happen is we're going to get stuck and I cry. I just, you know, we'll just have to pay for a recovery. Don't want to. The Fleet Star is a good ways away, and the Kodiak and the GMC would be no good trying to recover this. It would be nice if we had a tall snorkel. I'm not even sure if there's a tall snorkel for the uh, P16, but a tall snorkel would make it easier and then we just sort of plough through deep water with it. Go in a route that I've not gone before, ever, and doing it in the dark is, is probably not advisable. some of these tasks done and feel like we're progression, progressing somewhat. We've had a couple of a couple of days where we've just sort of been moving around. We did a lot of scouting. Spent a couple of days over on Island Lakes. And we've covered a couple of vehicles there, so I guess we've been getting jobs done. I think I'm just used to doing things at a slightly <laughs> more frantic pace. I'm trying to be a little bit more measured. Beautiful game at night. Beautiful game during the day as well. There we go. Came through here with a scout, so we're gonna be fine, aren't we? Yeah, that's all right. I worry about nothing. We went the other direction with the scout.
so I think we go round round the snake and S bend and then we go off road. Probably reverse down the other side of these rocks. Although I will say, doing a lot of this stuff with the P16 rather than fighting with the fleet and the GMC like I have done in the past when trying to do a lot of this stuff, actually a lot easier. Although we're on hard mode, some of the things I'm doing are easier than what they uh, they were in my uh, previous playthroughs on normal. I think because I'm using the right equipment for a change, <laughs> forced to use the right equipment. Because honestly, normally I do everything here with the fleet star. I just collect up the other trucks, just do everything with the fleet. And the fleet star will be back in action. I just don't want to risk it. Don't I? Yeah. At least today's contracts, today's tasks have more than covered the cost of the complete repair of the Kodiak. Just a shame we wasted all those recovery repair points in the repair trailer. So with the, the International, when I go get that, I might just repair this fuel tank. And then when I get it back to the garage, just do a full repair of everything else. There we go. 1600 on that one. And we're nearly back up to 40 grand. back into town. Just 
turn the engine off. So. This machinery. Which is picking up those four crates. And then Riverside Repair. Service spare parts and wooden planks. But we've got not, not got anything with a crane in here at the minute. So we'll, we'll not be doing that. And then contract wise. Uh, we've got logs for the workers. Aid. Timber at arm's reach. And then timber for the locals. But that would require, require us to purchase a log trailer. So we're not going to do that yet. So our next job, I think, is just going to be, like I planned about three or four episodes ago, to go and recover those other two trucks. I did say it was a, a long-term plan and it might take a while. It's just having everything else in place and, and tidied up before you sort of head out and get things done. This trailer we're going to take through with us into the dam. Where did we put the field yet? We took it all the way back over there, didn't we? So. What is that like for fuel? If it will go and just fill this right up from the big trailer. It shouldn't take us long to get there and back. Hopefully we'll have time. What was the time? Five o'clock. Sometimes these things seem a little bit redundant, but you gotta, gotta try and do what you can. And it seems like uh, the right sort of job to do to see out the morning. Is then first thing we can take this trailer. First thing step so we'll be to take this back into town and this will be parked in town and we'll take the the other fuel trailer through actually probably the better thing would have been to take this down and top up that fuel bowser and then come and collect from here We've got that plumbing job marked up uh, route through here do you think We've got... Hmm. I think we should be alright. I think we can get through there. Should be fine. Just take it easy. If I remember right, it's not that treacherous of a path through here. gears to control your descent. It should be alright. Issues happen when you start letting your vehicles run away from you. It should be alright now. <clears throat> it's 
Excuse me, excuse me. We will refuel us and that. We'll call that an episode. We're ending a bit early, but that will give us an extra hour next time out to just get back into town and sort things out. So we'll pause it there. Uh, not a bad day. Uh, three tasks complete. I'll, I'll take that any day. A little bit of money. We've got a new truck. We've got a fuel truck to, to ferry around with, which is going to be better than just constantly carting little trailers everywhere. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. And hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.